dive into the abyss of the unknown as we delve into three disturbingly true hostile horror stories. A world of adventure, of exploration and of the unexpected, hostels have long been a sanctuary for travelers. These places of transient residence, buzzing with the energy of wanderers from all walks of life, hold a charm that's hard to resist. They're a hub for the curious, for the adventurous, and for those who seek a taste of the world beyond their doorstep. But within these walls of camaraderie and shared experiences, there lies an underbelly of tales that are better left untold. For in the midst of laughter, friendships, and shared meals, there's a darker side that lurks in the shadows, waiting to be discovered. In the bustling dorm rooms, the dimly lit corridors, and the quiet corners of these hostels, there exists a realm of strange encounters and chilling incidents. There are stories born from the intersection of the familiar and the unknown that have the power to make even the bravest hearts shudder. Today, we're going to take you on a journey into this darkness. We're going to share with you three true stories from the eerie world of hostels. These aren't your usual tales of lost keys or stolen belongings. No, these are stories that entwine the mundane with the macabre, the ordinary with the otherworldly, the banal with the bone chilling. So buckle up, turn off the lights. Let the echo of your heartbeat be the only sound accompanying you into this journey of the unexplored. As we peel back the layers of the ordinary, we invite you to step into the extraordinary. Prepare yourself as we start with our first tale, a story that will send chills down your spine. Our first story takes us to a bustling hostel in the heart of Europe. Imagine this, a lone traveler weary from his journey steps into a seemingly normal hostel nestled amidst the hustle and bustle of a vibrant European city. It's a refuge from the chaos outside, a place to rest and recharge. Little does he know he's about to encounter something beyond the ordinary, something that will challenge his understanding of reality. He books a room, a simple space with a bed and a window. It's nothing fancy, but it's clean and comfortable, just what he needs after a long day of sightseeing. The first night passes without incident, and he wakes up refreshed, ready to explore the city. But as he steps out of his room, he notices something peculiar, a faint, unexplainable chill in the air and an inexplicable sense of unease. He shrugs it off, attributing it to his tiredness or perhaps the unfamiliar surroundings. As the days pass, however, the unease grows. He wakes up to find his belongings moved around, objects misplaced and strange noises in the night. He's alone in the room, but it feels as though there's someone or something sharing the space with him. The atmosphere of the room changes. It's no longer the cozy refuge it seemed to be. It's as if the walls are closing in, the air heavy with an unseen presence. The traveler tries to ignore these odd occurrences, dismissing them as figments of his imagination. But one night, the inexplicable becomes undeniable. As he lies in his bed, he hears the distinct sound of footsteps, soft but unmistakable, moving across the room. The temperature drops and he can feel a cold breeze even though the window is firmly shut. He turns on the light, but there's nothing there, no one there, just him, alone in the room with the echo of the footsteps still lingering in the air. The realization hits him, he's not alone in the room, he's sharing it with an unseen entity a shadow roommate. The signs were there all along. The moved belongings, the strange noises, the chilling atmosphere. He's living in a room with a presence he can't see, can't touch, can't comprehend. It's a situation straight out of a horror movie, and he's the unwilling protagonist. The traveler left the hostel the next day, but the memory of the shadow roommate remained. Haunted by the experience, the memory of the shadow roommate lingers a chilling reminder of the unseen and the unknown. It's a tale of a hostel, a room, and a presence that defies explanation. A tale of fear and uncertainty, of the strange and the supernatural. A tale that proves that sometimes reality can be scarier than fiction. Our next tale transports us to a remote hostel nestled in the mountains of South America. Imagine, if you will, a group of close-knit friends traveling together their only aim being to explore the world, 
to soak in the culture, the beauty, and the thrill of the unknown. They find themselves in a rustic hostel, far removed from the hustle and bustle of city life. The air is crisp and clean, the mountains loom in the background, and the silence is only broken by the occasional chirping of birds. It was in this serene setting that they encountered a peculiar fellow traveler. The stranger was a man of indeterminate age, with a weather-beaten face that hinted at a life full of adventures. His eyes sparkled with a mischievous glint, and his voice, though soft, had the ability to command attention. His stories were captivating, full of dangerous exploits and thrilling escapades across the globe. His tales were so vivid, so enthralling, that the group couldn't help but be drawn into his world. They spent the entire evening around the hostel's campfire, hanging on to his every word, their minds filled with images of treacherous jungles, hidden treasures, and mythical creatures. The night grew darker, the fire dimmer, and the stories more chilling. The stranger's tales took a sinister turn. He spoke of haunted places, of encounters with the supernatural, of narrow escapes from death's grip. The group listened, wide-eyed and uneasy, their hearts pounding in their chests. The stranger's laughter echoed through the silent night, a chilling sound that seemed to linger in the air long after it had ceased. Morning dawned, bringing with it a sense of relief. The group woke up, their minds still filled with remnants of the terrifying tales. They looked around for the stranger, but he was nowhere to be found. His belongings, his footprints, any sign of his existence had vanished without a trace. The hostel staff, when questioned, had no recollection of the man. He was like a ghost, a phantom that had appeared out of nowhere and disappeared just as suddenly. The group was left questioning their sanity. Had they imagined the whole thing? Was it a dream? Or had they truly spent an entire evening with a man who, according to everyone else, did not exist? The questions swirled in their minds, but they found no answers. The hostel, the mountains, the campfire, all seemed to hold their secrets close, leaving the group with nothing but a chilling memory. The vanishing visitor remains a mystery, a chilling reminder of the strange and unexplainable. Our final story brings us to an old converted hostel in Asia, a place that has housed countless souls, some of whom, it seems, have never left. A place where the walls whisper tales of the past and the hallways echo with a spectral presence. The hostel, once a grand mansion, is now a maze of winding corridors and dimly lit rooms. It is here that guests have reported hearing strange noises in the dead of night. Footsteps echoing down empty corridors, doors creaking open on their own, and disembodied whispers that chill the spine. And then there are the apparitions. Guests have reported seeing spectral figures wandering the hallways, their ethereal forms flickering in the gloom. Some speak of a woman in a white dress, her face hidden under a veil of long dark hair. Others tell of a man in old-fashioned clothing, his eyes hollow pits of eternal sorrow. The hostel staff initially dismissed these tales as the product of overactive imaginations. But then, they too began to experience the unexplainable. One night, a receptionist reported being watched by unseen eyes. Another time, a cleaner found a room in disarray, even though no one had checked in. As the incidents escalated, the staff could no longer ignore the paranormal presence. Skepticism turned into belief and fear began to creep in. The once bustling hostel became a place of hushed whispers and nervous glances. Staff members started avoiding certain areas especially at night, and guests, well, let's just say, not all of them stayed the entire night. Attempts were made to uncover the history of the mansion, to find a reason for the hauntings. Some say the mansion was the site of a tragic love story, of a couple separated by fate, their spirits forever wandering the halls. Others believe the mansion was once a place of dark rituals, its past stained with unspeakable acts. Regardless of the reasons, the hauntings continue. The hostel has become a place of intrigue for paranormal enthusiasts, a destination for those seeking a brush with the other side. Some guests come seeking thrills, others in search of answers, but all of them leave with a story to tell.
And what of the staff? They continue their duties, albeit with a newfound respect for the unseen inhabitants. They've learned to coexist, to navigate around the spectral presence. After all, they're just part of the hostel's charm now. To this day, the haunted hallways of the hostel continue to instill fear in those who dare to stay. A silent reminder that sometimes the past refuses to be forgotten. That sometimes the echoes of a building's history continue to reverberate long after the events have passed. And that sometimes in the quiet corridors of an old hostel, you might just find yourself face to face with the spectral remnants of a bygone era. Each of these stories offers a glimpse into the unknown, a chilling reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows. We began with The Sinister Welcome, a tale that turned a seemingly innocent arrival into an eerie encounter. Then we delved into The Shadow Roommate, a story that blurred the lines between reality and imagination, leaving us questioning what truly hides in the dark. Lastly, we explored The Vanishing Visitor, and the haunted hallways, stories that unfolded the unexplained and the inexplicable, leaving us with more questions than answers. Each narrative, in its own way, pulls back the curtain on the unknown, reminding us that the world is full of mysteries, and sometimes they're closer than we think. Which of these stories intrigued you the most? Do you have any similar experiences to share? Let us know in the comments below.